Have you spent ages working on a Blender scene only to finish, set up your render settings for a final render and find that it's going to take hours or even days to get a high quality render? How could you fix this? Well, you could go out and spend thousands on a new PC or a good GPU, or you could drop your samples on your render, activate the AI denoiser and get an OK result. Or you could upload your Blender files to Google Colab and get access to free GPUs and get a high quality render in a fraction of the time. How much quicker you ask? Well in my test I was able to speed up my render by a factor of 9. In my test I was just using an NVIDIA GeForce 1060M in my Alienware laptop. It's not a high-end graphics card but it's a decent gaming GPU and something a new user to Blender might be using. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I set up a Google Colab account to provide you access to a free render farm for your Blender renders. It's a fairly simple process to set up initially and once you've configured it, all you need to do in the future is upload your Blender files to your Google Drive, run the script, and it will save the final render or animations to your Google Drive. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just download a sample um, Blender file from the Blender website. So if you just go to www.blender.org slash download slash demo files, uh, you'll get a list of these splash screens, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll get some sample EV render files. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll get some Cycles uh, demo uh, Blender files. So I'm just going to download this um, car demo, which is just a render of a BMW. So if you just click on the BMW, save it to your desktop. So if you open up the zip file, you'll find that there's a GPU and a CPU version. So if you just double click on the GPU version, with the Blender file open, what we need to do is configure some of the settings that we want to use when we render on Google Colab. And the reason for this is we can't change a lot of these settings when they're open on the command line. So when you're in Blender, the first thing you want to do is change your device from CPU to GPU, if possible, if your computer has a GPU uh, graphics card. The other thing you want to do is go down to the second icon here and under the output tab, Assuming you want to render as a JPEG or a PNG, you want to change your output path to two forward slashes. And what that'll do is when it's rendered the final image, it'll save the image in the same directory as the blend file. And you can also change your file format to an AVI if you want to render an animation out. The point is that you want to set up all your render settings the way you want them uh, for when we copy it to Google Colab. So once you've done that, just close down your blend file and you want to upload this blend file to your Google Drive. So I've already got my Google Drive open here. So I'm just going to create a folder called Blender Renders. And I'm going to drop and drag the Blender file that I just modified onto my Google Drive and upload that. And that'll just take a minute. The next thing you want to do is go to Google Colab. So if you just go to Google and type Colab, that's C-O-L-A-B, you'll be directed to this uh, landing page for Google. So you just want to sign in to your Google Colab account using your Gmail account. And that will take you here. To create a new um, Jupyter Notebook, you go File, New Notebook. And this is where you can execute your Python code or your command line code, which will uh, allow you to render your Blender file via the command line. I've already created a Jupyter Notebook, which will allow you to render this Blender file. So I'm just going to open that up. So I'm not going to type out all these commands again in full, but I'll explain what each of the individual steps do. You can copy down this code into your own Jupyter Notebook. So the first one is the command which will download the latest version of Blender from the official Blender website. So the exclamation mark wget will download this tar zip file from the Blender website. So you can see it's just directed to blender.org and I'm downloading version 2.91. If you want to download another version of Blender for some reason, you can go to the Blender website. If you go down to the download section, 
you can click previous versions and then down here it's got download every version of Blender. If you click on that you get a list of every version of Blender that's been released. Uh, I just scrolled down here and selected the folder labeled Blender 2.91 and you want to download the Linux 64-bit tar file. So you want to, depending on what version of Blender you want to download, you want to copy this file name into your Jupyter Notebook. You can see here I've got the 2.91 and this uh, folder before is the Blender 2.91 directory. So if I go up one directory on the Blender website, you can see I've got the Blender 2.91 folder. So depending on what version of Blender you want to download, you want to get this file, uh, this folder correct and you want to get the file name correct. So that's fairly straightforward. The next step is to install the Blender zip file that you've just um, downloaded. So this is just unzipping and installing the Blender tar file. So this um, version number here has to match the version number that you entered to download up here. So this next section here you may or may not need to run. It's sometimes required depending on the type of GPU that's installed. If your Blender render doesn't work for some reason on Google Colab, run this step. So this next step is to mount your Google Drive account and link it to your Google Colab notebook. So it's just going to mount your Google Drive to the following directory which is slash G Drive. The next step is to list the file name of the Blender file that you've just uploaded. So you can see that I've placed my BMW uh, Blend file in slash G Drive which is my Google Drive. You need to have this My Drive as a subfolder and if you remember I've already created a folder called Blender Renders where I place my BMW 27 GPU dot blend. Before I get to the last step which is to run Blender via the command line, I need to tell you about this extra Python script that's required if you want to run it on a GPU on Google Colab. If you don't do the step, you'll only be running on the CPU and your renders won't happen very quickly at all. So I found this step by going to Stack Overflow to the Blender subforum and came across this rendering on command line via GPU for Blender. And if you scroll down here, you can see I found this script on Stack Overflow, the Blender subforums, which automatically detects any CUDA devices on the system that you're running on and automatically enables them, which is what's required for running on Google Colab because we're not sure at any given time what sort of GPU we'll be running on. And this was provided by uh, Robert here. So if you just copy this entire script, and you can just any, use any um, text editor that you like or code editor, but I'm just gonna do this in Blender. So I'm just loading up Blender here. I'm gonna go over to the scripting tab, create a new script, control V to paste. And I'm just gonna go text, save as, just save it to your desktop somewhere, call it gpu.py. Close Blender, go back to your Google Drive account and upload that gpu.py script to your Google Drive. So with that GPU Pi script uploaded to your Google Drive account, you want to go back to your Google Colab notebook and I'll explain the last step in this process. So this step is just to run the Blender executable that you installed previously and it's being run from the Blender 2.91 subdirectory. The next step, minus B, just runs Blender in background, so on the command line and doesn't show you the normal interface that you're used to. Dollar's file name tells Blender to uh, render the Blender file that you've listed here in file name, so in this case our BMW Blender file. Minus P means to run a Python script when it uh, runs Blender. So in this case, we're going to run the GPU Python script uh, that we just uploaded to Google Drive. So you can see I've placed the Python script in the Google Drive, My Drive, Blender Renders, and uh, the file name, which is gpu.py. And this is in the same directory as the BMW gpu.blend file. Minus E instructs Blender to uh, use the specified uh, render engine. So in this case, we want to use Cycles. Minus F 
and the number one after it means I want to uh, render the first frame and minus capital F and the PNG tells Blender that I want to save my render as a PNG file. Okay, so now that we've typed all our code into our Jupyter Notebook, we can start executing the code. Before you do this, you want to go to the Edit menu, Notebook Settings, and you want to make sure under Hardware Accelerator you have GPU selected. And this will allow us to render our Blender file on the GPU within Google Colab. If you don't select this and you have none selected, it'll just use a CPU, which won't be very fast at all. You also want to make sure that you've got this option ticked to omit code cell output when saving from this notebook, and then just press save. So let's start running the code. So press the little play button, and this will start downloading Blender to our virtual machine. And this will take just a few minutes depending on how quick your internet connection is. The next step is to install Blender, the version we just downloaded. So press the next play button and just give it a few moments. And you can see Blender has now been installed. And just for completeness sake, I'm just going to run this step here, which will install those libraries. And in this case, it looks like they're not required. Next step is to mount your Google Drive account so that Google Colab can see the Blender file and the GPU Python file. So run that. And Google Colab is going to ask you to authorize the link to your uh, Google Drive account. So it just says go to this URL in the browser. So you click that. It asks you to choose a Google Drive account to link. So just click your Google Drive and it says it wants access. So just allow and it will ask you to copy this code. So you just press the little copy button, go back to your Google uh, Colab and paste the authorization code into the little box and press enter. And that will mount your Google Drive account. Then run the next set of code, which is just selecting the file name that you want, which is the bmw.blend file. And then you just want to run the last step, which is just executing Blender via the command line and uh, rendering the Blend file. So just press play. To make this interesting, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see just how much quicker Google Colab can render this Blender file compared with my laptop, which is running the NVIDIA GeForce 1060M graphics card. So I'm just going to press play here and I'm going to see how long it takes Google Colab to perform this render. So you can see it's loading in all the, the relevant files. This is what you would see as a standard output when you're running a Blender file. And if you look at the command line here, you can see that it started rendering the uh, various tiles. You can see it's up to sample 1000 of 1600 for the first tile. And now it's moved on to the next tile, tile 1 of 12. And you can see it's estimating about 1 minute and 35 seconds left to render this. So I'm just going to speed this up and see just how long it took to render this file. And it looks like it's finished. And it took exactly 2 minutes to render this file. And you can just go to your Google Drive where it's output the, the output file. And there we have it. As the BMW. So now what I'm going to do is render the exact same Blender file on my laptop using the NVIDIA GeForce 1060M graphics card and see how long it takes to run on that. So I'm just going to go up here and press render, render image, and let's see how long it takes. So at the moment it's estimating about three minutes to render, but it looks like it's still fluctuating a bit. So it's been rendering for about 7 minutes now and it's now, now says the remaining time is 5 minutes. So it's still increasing. So it's now been rendering for about 13 and a half minutes now and the remaining time is 1 minute 56. We've now been rendering for about 17 and a half minutes, so well and truly longer than Google Colab, 
and it says we've got about four seconds left. And there we have it. The render is finished. It took about 17 minutes and 49 seconds. With very little work whatsoever, we've dramatically decreased the time it takes to render this file, and it didn't cost us a cent. If you like this tutorial or any of the other videos on our YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll be uploading more Blender tutorials very soon. Thanks for watching.